Hey guys, we just got the call. We are so stinking excited. Our baby chicks are in. Yes, they are here. They're at the post office. We are heading out there right now to pick them up. I'm so excited. It's like uh, 6.45 a.m. I'm not awake yet, but I am excited. So we got to go by Orchland's and pick up a bag of bedding, and we got to get the chicks, and we have everything else ready to go. So uh, hopefully I'll be back in a little while with six live healthy chicks and uh, some baby chick video for you. Literally came in a cardboard box. We're at the post office. You hear all those baby chicks in there? Well, here they are. Looks like Cackle Hatchery came through for us. They we ordered six and we got eight. And they're in this is their little shipping container from the post office this is kind of cool and randy's over there getting the brooder set up right now all right so here's our little brooder set up we got our light we got our tub we got our food and water we're trying to make a hot zone and a cold zone so i'll probably move that food and water around and now the instructions say to take the chicks out, dip their beak in the water so they know where it is, and let them go. Oh, they're thirsty. Okay, so it's been about two hours. Chicks have been here. As you can see, they look really good. They're eating, they drink, they've been under their heat light. So far, they drink, they eat, and they nap. Okay, well the chicks have been here for a little over eight hours. They're doing really well. They look amazing. All they do is eat, drink, poop, and sleep. We're glad to see they're eating a lot and they're drinking a lot. This one that likes to hang out in the corner is super cute. I don't know, and I don't think we'll know for a while, which are which. We ordered the red lace black Wyandots and the blue lace red Wyandots. And I'm not sure which is which, but some of these it's hard to see when I talk and stand over them, they get nervous, but some of them, the coloring on their little heads is amazing. Randy's teasing on me and he says, well, if they have colorful, pretty heads, those are the roosters. We can't have roosters in town, so. <laughs> He stresses me out when he says that because I already like them all. I don't want to have to trade any of them in. They're so precious. You're not supposed to handle them the first 24 to 48 hours. So aside from whenever we put them in the bin and dunk their beaks, we haven't really touched them or picked them up. But I'm very excited for two days from now when I can hold them all.
So this is our day, are we in day two or day three, Jake? Day three. We're in day three of having the baby chicks in the house. And we're so excited, they're doing really well. I'm hoping one of them will come over here so you can see that they are starting to get feathers on their wings. Slay, don't forget to like this video. You can see that they, um, Gosh, it's really hard to see. I'm trying to zoom in so you can see them, but on the ones that are getting feathers, we're starting to be able to tell if they're the blue lace or the red lace, and it's pretty cool. They are just so stinking cute. They really respond to our voices and to us coming near. Um, they were super scared, but they're starting to chill out. Um, they're very, oh, that one, see the wing? Look at that. He's getting little feathers on his wing. So cute. Oh they're responding really well to our voices you can see on that one his little wing so that's a black and red lace oh just so cute and I really handled them all well yesterday because I wanted to clean out the the cage and uh, I, I do think we do have at least one rooster um, I was kind of examining them and got poked by something and it's like oh I think that one's a rooster so I think we have at least one, not sure if we have any more, but um, if you recall, Cackle sent us two extra chicks. We ordered six, because that's our limit in town, and we got eight, and we're not allowed to have roosters in town. So if we do have a rooster or two, we're okay. We'll rehome them and uh, and just be at our you know, acceptable limit. This is so much fun. Like, not only are these birds going to produce eggs for us for a long time and become part of our little homestead. But um, it's just really fun. It's fun to have them in the house. They're super fun to watch. They cheep all the time, the little cheeping. If they're awake, they're cheeping. And that's really cool. And Jake, do you think they are, seem a lot bigger than whenever they first came into the house? One of them does. Yeah, so we have one who he seems gigantic. And um, we have, so this this food container right here, we have filled that four or five times in the three days that they've been here. We're starting day three today. So the two days and a couple hours they've been here. Um, they eat like crazy. And they're getting really big. Like that one right there that's walking over towards the water cleaning his foot he is humongous he is like probably two centimeters taller than all the other ones I keep calling him he because I think maybe that is a boy um, but yeah they're super cool if you haven't gotten chicks and you have room and are allowed to have them and you use eggs for anything I strongly encourage you to do it I was a little I mean I'm an animal person had had animals my whole life, had horses for 20 years, dogs, cats. But this is my first time ever with raising, starting chicks. And uh, it's fun. We're having a really good time. So I, I encourage you to give it a shot. This is the chicks after one week. They're huge. Amazed at how fast they're growing. Do you see they have little feathers already on their wings and some of them have little tail feathers coming in they're super cute getting really big though in a couple more days they can start having treats and i think we're about a week to two weeks from them moving out of the kitchen <laughs> 